For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Corn farmers should pay attention to the spring migration of the black cutworm. The moths wing their way into the Midwest every year. The black cutworm rides the southerlies north into the Corn Belt. The female moths look for farm fields lush and green, mostly with weeds. Winter annuals are the favored nesting ground, says University of Illinois Extension entomologist Mike Gray. They go into those fields, um, they lay eggs on those weeds, and Eventually, uh, when those uh, fields are uh, planted, uh, many of the surviving uh, black cutworm larvae will move uh, off those weed hosts um, onto corn seedlings. And corn fields that uh, are still in that uh, one to four leaf stage are very susceptible uh, to cutting. If those cuts are made below the growing point of the corn plant, then it dies. Uh, most of the cutting, says Gray, takes place overnight or occasionally on a very overcast, dark, cloudy day. But growers are definitely encouraged to, to look for early signs of cutworm activity, which would be small pinhole uh, areas on leaves that have been removed by those very small caterpillars, typically in the one to uh, three um, instar stage. Once the, the caterpillars go into that fourth larval instar, they can begin to, to cut plants. Many insecticides can be used as rescue treatments if needed to combat the black cutworm. Most Bt corn is also capable of protecting the crop, but not in equal measure. Search Google for a handy Bt trait table to find out which hybrids do and do not work well against the black cutworm. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.